Today we are going to learn how we can set a, a sales pop-up like this so imagine that your store has uh, this uh, option set up like I, I know these are fake okay so uh, these pop-up will increase uh, your sale so people will uh, get more belief in your shop and they will understand then that your shop is selling uh, much more products so they will be more interested than before so uh, let's see how we can uh, create that in uh, our Shopify store first you need to log in to your Shopify uh, Shopify website okay and then uh, once you do that so you need to go to the apps and then you need to uh, install this app which is sales pop up by Bicketing. so uh, this is obviously free this has no charge okay so uh, once you click on this you will be redirected to this page okay and uh, this page uh, it will uh, basically be on the dashboard page so don't waste your uh, time and click on the notifications and then you need to create a new custom notification so from uh, this section you need to select whether you want to uh, choose a collection of products or a few products or all the products and then you can choose them from here you can uh, you can uh, select the collection names or if you put uh, all products then uh, it will uh, you, you don't have to select anything here and this is the random location so currently I have set the location to United States so uh, our shop will uh, show random locations from the United States like it could be California it could be New York or or whatever also now you can control the uh, where uh, do you want to uh, show the sales pop-up so it could be specific pages if you click on this then uh, you you have the option like on which collection pages or which product page you, you want to show that and also if you would like to set the manual selection like you can set them like this like some person san francisco united states new york united blah 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 you can uh, put like each for one line so i'm gonna uh, keep random locations for now also <clears throat> and at the end you will be able to see how many notifications you have here so uh, and then once you are done you need to click on create now and once you do this you will be uh, you will be able to see some notifications in your notification bar okay so yeah and on the settings tab you will be able to uh, see which notifications you have and some basic options we will see that in a minute yeah so we are on the settings page now now you can choose the layout like this this or this and then uh, you can see the preview here so if you choose this one then you will be able to see this preview and display options like where do you want to show that like right here or blah 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 you have the four options here and delay uh, display time how many seconds you want to show them and also if you want to show it in a random order if you want to show on mobile or the mobile position so this is pretty good like if you uh, want to translate this you have that option as well so uh, once you are done you can send a test notification and here you go okay so once you are done with your settings and click on save and activate it so once you do this you go to your website and then you will be able to see this nice feature added to your website